15,000 pounds with a gas truck. Was it a terrible idea? Welcome to RV Miles, I'm Jason Epperson, and I've had lots of people recently asking for an update on what it's like to tow a big fifth wheel with a gas truck. So let's talk about it. Last summer, we moved into our first fifth wheel, this excellent Sabre 37 FLL for which we are brand ambassadors. We love that our three boys now have tons of space, but that space came at the cost of size. Our travel trailer that we lived in before was pretty big, 36 feet plus two feet for a rack on the back, 38 feet. But now we're a whopping 43 foot long, a lot taller, and a lot heavier. 15,000 pounds to be exact. Not the heaviest fifth wheel out there by far. In fact, it's fairly light for its length, but still, we knew we needed to upgrade from our Ram 2500 before we picked this trailer up, mainly because its payload rating couldn't handle the pin weight of this fifth wheel, which is just under 3,000 pounds. But we faced a bit of a conundrum. New diesel trucks were a little out of our price range and adding an extended warranty on a five-year-old diesel was going to be nearly the same amount. But Ford had this relatively new 7.3 liter gas engine that was an option and really improved towing capacity, torque, and horsepower over their 6.2 liter gas engine. Numbers that are up near early 2000s diesel stats. But more than that, we really wanted a single rear wheel truck. And believe it or not, a similarly equipped single rear wheel diesel can't actually tow this fifth wheel. This F-350 with the 7.3 liter engine, four wheel drive, and the Tremor off-road package has a payload of just over 4,000 pounds. A similarly equipped diesel has a 3,100 pound payload rating. Add a few people and things in the bed and we'd definitely be over on payload. Payload is the amount of weight that can be put vertically on the truck, but what about horizontally, towing capacity? The diesel Tremor Super Duty can tow about 22,000 pounds and the 7.3 liter gasoline can tow 20,000, both well within the weight of our trailer. Of course, there's no doubting the power of a diesel. Towing with a diesel engine up over a mountain pass is a dream, and you get better fuel mileage, which is washed out by the cost of diesel fuel, but you don't have to fuel up as much, and that's really important, especially when you realize that you can't pull this big fifth wheel through the trucker side of a truck stop for gasoline. You're stuck getting fuel in the front, which is sometimes a challenge to be sure. But what about actually driving the thing? How does it feel? Well, the 10 speed transmission, which is on both the diesel and the gas is a dream. I've seen people complain that it shifts too much, but I think that's kind of the point of having more gears. The engine definitely revs up when it needs power. All the torque is in the 4,000 RPM range. And some people don't like feeling that and it's understandable but that's where it's happy pulling a big load. We've now towed this fifth wheel just a hair under 10,000 miles and over lots of Western mountain passes. I have zero complaints about the 7.3 liter gasoline engine's ability to handle it. I've never felt I couldn't maintain the speed that I wanted on a steep incline. And with that 10 speed transmission, the engine braking is very good, more than sufficient to make up for the lack of a diesel exhaust brake. Now I'm averaging about eight to nine miles per gallon towing at 65 miles an hour. I have no idea why the computer says that it's over 16 miles a gallon, but no way in a million years is that true, but that's with 35 inch tires and the 4.30 axle ratio. I'm sure a Super Duty without the bigger off-road tires and the Tremor package could outperform that. Without a trailer, I'm getting about 16 miles a gallon on the highway and about 14 average, depending on who's driving. I have a light foot, others in the family don't. If you're somebody that drives 10 miles an hour above the speed limit, you're definitely gonna pay for it in fuel mileage. So for me, the $8,000 upfront savings was worth it. Diesels hold their value better, so in the end that $8,000 is meaningless, but I didn't have it upfront. And like I said, I'd definitely be looking at used if I was going diesel. And in a mileage and age range, I wasn't crazy about. If the 7.3 liter engine wasn't available though, I might not have went gas. For instance, a similarly equipped Chevy with their gas engine can tow just over 16,000 pounds, and the Ram gives you 17,000 pounds. Both better than Ford's 6.2 liter gas engine, but still a bit too close to our 15,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating for my liking. Getting fuel is really my only complaint, and I'll be honest, it is a pain in the butt sometimes. It's a big one. We don't travel much more than 300 miles in a day in the first place, which has us filling up before we hook up the trailer and then usually once during the drive. 
If I had it to do all over again, I might skip the Tremor package and go with a long bed, which would have given me a 48 gallon tank instead of 34 gallons. Then I'd rarely be hitting the fuel stations with the fifth wheel attached. But like I said, we've made it work. I have the comfort and confidence to drive the fifth wheel into most larger gas stations on the outside pump. But twice since we've owned this fifth wheel, I have had to unhook the trailer in order to drive around to get fuel. Overall, I'm very happy towing with a fifth wheel with a gas engine. I wouldn't tow anything that's much heavier than we are right now. I think the 7.3 liter is perfect for those towing in the 10 to 15,000 range that don't wanna go the diesel route. If you have any questions that I can answer to help you decide if a gas truck is right for you, leave them in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure to check us out each week on the RV Miles podcast, which is on its own separate YouTube channel and any podcast app. We'll see you next time.